Luke 6, 38. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that you made, with all, it shall be measured to you again. That's the scripture people use for give, so that God can give you. If you don't give, God will never give you. So, if you don't give offering, don't expect a breakthrough. The level of your sacrifice will determine the weight of your breakthrough. Your offering will wipe away your suffering. <laughs> your offering will remove your suffering. And yet many people are giving offering and still suffering. So who is lying? God or the preacher? The preacher of course. How can offering remove suffering? Where did you ever see that in the Bible? Eh? Yeah, what? If you're sick, check your seed. There's another prosperity preacher here. <laughs> so if you're not giving seed, you will be sick. Listen, it's not just evil. It's very wrong. It's a corruption of God's character. From the pulpit. Too. From the pulpit. And people who are lazy to study their Bible, just keep running around with it. Because it makes little sense. It makes some sense to a natural man. But you're not asking the right questions. If it is true that your offering will wipe away your suffering, why is it that many people in the church that give offering are suffering? Somebody is lying. And definitely cannot be God. It has to be the preacher who is preaching it. Now did you observe? He says, shall men, not shall God, give and it shall be given, good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over, shall men, not God. Now observe. I think I went somewhere to preach. I think it was Ghana also. And one preacher came. And then <laughs> that day, I left the service immediately. Because I felt like he was molesting and spiritually abusing people. I mean, he told them that there are four levels of prosperity in God. The first level is good measure. Second level, press down. Third level, shaking together. Fourth level, running over. That to step into these four levels, it begins with giving. Then he started talking and calculating for them how much they have to give to enter level one, how much they have to give to enter level two, level three, level four. And he was molesting the Bible, abusing, twisting. In fact, he even said something I have never heard since I was born. That was the first. Day. I was sitting on the pulpit too, because the host pastor begged me that please, there's another preacher preaching who is like his spiritual father, and he will want me to just sit down with him so we can give his spiritual father respect. I'm a guest, and as a guest, I am there to serve the church. So I came that evening. I just flew in that evening. I was even tired from the flight. You know, Ghana flight, evening flight. So I just said, okay, pick me up when he starts preaching. Just before he starts bringing me. They brought me aside and I was listening to the man. Then the man started talking like that. Oh my God. Then he now said to them, even lions pay tight. Lions had sense to pay tight. And many Christians don't have sense to pay tight. Immediately my man started flying. I've been reading the Bible. I have never seen where lions pay tight. Where is this man bringing this rema from? Oh my goodness. Today I'm going to be enjoying revelation now. Then guess what the man said? He said, lions pay tight. Because when Daniel was thrown to the lions den, the lions looked at Daniel and they said among themselves, let us give this one as tight. He merely said that, I took my Bible. I told the guy, excuse me, I have to go now. I have to go now because I don't want my ears corrupted. When a pastor is greedy, every scripture is for money collection. It's greed. Now, he says, give and it shall be given good measure, shaking together, running over, shall men, take note of men. Now, let's look at the scripture in context. Look at the pretext so we can understand what Jesus was teaching there in that Luke chapter 6. Let's begin from verse 36. Be therefore merciful, as your father also is merciful. Next verse. Judge not, and you shall not be judged. Condemn not, and you shall not be condemned. Forgive and you shall be forgiven that is how men operate among men if you don't want them to judge you don't judge them if you want them to forgive you forgive them so jesus was showing how men operate in the world then look at verse 38 give and it shall be given so 37 is about men but go back to verse 27 but i say unto you which here love your enemies do good to them which hate you. 28. Bless them that curse you. And pray for them which despitefully use you. 
that contradicts 37 and 38 love your enemies bless those who use you that doesn't sound like judge that you be not judge that doesn't sound like give and it shall be given unto you now look at verse 29 and unto him that smited thee on one cheek offer also the other and him that taketh away thy cloak forbid not to take thy coat also 30 give to everyone that accept of thee and of him that taketh away thy goods ask them not again and as you will that men should do to you do also to them likewise next verse for if you love them which love you what tank have you for sinners also love those that love them and if you do good to them which do good to you what tank have you for sinners also even do the same 34 and if you lend to them of whom you hope to receive what tank have you for sinners also lend to sinners to receive as much gain 35 but love ye your enemies and do good and lend hoping for nothing again and your reward shall be great and you shall be the children of the highest for he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil did you observe that he is kind to the unthankful somebody says if you are not thankful to god your tank will not be full that's a lie god is kind even to those that are unthankful and ingrates he continues to still blessing them that's god's character now look at 36 be therefore merciful as your father also is merciful so question did he say god will only be merciful to you if you do something god is merciful to everybody he said when you do things for people you are not expecting anything in return you just do good because that is your character you're not doing it because you want to collect something you're just being good to people because you're a good person and that's the way your heavenly father operates so look at how men function he now wants to give you the difference between how men function and how god functions look at 37 judge not and you shall not be judged condemn not and you shall not be condemned forgive and you shall be forgiven that's how men function give and it shall be given unto you good measure press down shaking together running over shall men give into your bosom for with the same measure that you made to men that is the same measure they will use to make back to you he's teaching about god's character different from men's character he's not teaching on giving he's exposing man's character how inferior it is to god's character so men give us a response God doesn't give so that it will be given back to him. Because he blesses the unthankful. God blesses the unthankful. Is that not what we should do? We too should bless the unthankful. So are you to give and expect returns? You give because you give.